Immunofluorescence is a technique for labeling specific proteins using antibodies conjugated to or detected by a fluorescent reporter. Here are a few tips and tricks that can help you obtain optimum and reproducible results. The intracellular environment where the phosphorylated proteins are located is typically rich in potassium. Choose a buffer, such as Delbeco's modified PBS, that mimics this condition and use it to dilute your antibodies. A BSA blocking buffer, or BSA supplemented with serum, works better for phospho-specific antibodies. A milk-based blocking buffer would lead to high background signal as the antibodies bind to casein, a phosphorylated protein in the milk. Phosphorylation states of some proteins are very transient. Honing in on stimulation time and titration of the phospho-inducing stimuli used are highly recommended. It is important to keep the cellular structure as close to the native state as possible. The choice of fixative is very important because the wrong one can destroy antigens and epitopes. In general, gentler aldehyde-based fixatives are more appropriate for detection of phospho-specific proteins compared to harsher dehydrating and dilapidating organic solvents. If this is a new target, we recommend testing stimulated versus non-stimulated samples with varying degrees and types of fixation to determine what is optimal for your particular target. For targets located within the cell, it is necessary to permeabilize the cells unless they have been fixed with organic solvent-based fixatives. Typically, Triton X100 in buffer works well for most phospho-specific proteins. Antibodies against the total target protein used along with antibodies specific for the phosphorylated site can be multiplexed to enable protein localization and function state analysis at the same time. You can use the antibody search tool on our website to choose your antibody. Immunofluorescence is a powerful tool that allows researchers to detect phosphorylation of target proteins within cells. It can also aid in the understanding of target location under different conditions. Using these seven tips will help you perform a successful immunofluorescence of phosphorylated proteins.